Hey guys, El Paso Tom. I thought I'd uh, make a video about uh, my rainwater system and how we collect and use water up here uh, in the mountains. We're, uh, we're up here about, uh, about 9,000 feet and there's no well on the property. So, you know, we're responsible for collecting and storing uh, all of our own water. So I thought I'd uh, kind of show you what we do to keep, uh, to keep going with rainwater. So this, we have a ta our tank room here. No, this isn't the Hall of Mirrors. This is a, this is six one thousand gallon, uh, one thousand gallon tanks, and basically what we do is uh, it comes off, it comes off the gutter, into the uh, into the tanks uh, on each end, and then you know through the tank, and then uh, it's uh, tanks are self equalizing, so they equalize themselves, and then. Uh, when uh, when all six uh, thousand gallon tanks are full, it comes into the comes into the overflow, and outside, then we can go to other tanks, where we store, uh, you know, where we store the uh, the overflow water. So let's walk you through the tank room here for a second. By the way, sand filter. We need to clean out the tanks once a year. Junk in the way. I should clean, right? And then uh, once we come in here, um, the six thousand gallon tanks. If you notice. The tanks are uh, each have a big window in front of them, and uh, they're painted black on the side facing the uh, facing the outside, so that they can uh, absorb the sun's energy when the sun is at the lower angle in the, in the winter. So they're all plumbed. I said they're all plumbed together, and it feeds into a uh, 35 micron uh, 35 micron filter down here, and then uh, into the pressure tank from the pressure tank into the pure system so water this is a 20 micron filter and uh, I'm sorry um, this one's actually a 5 micron filter and then this is the UV the UV filter before it goes into the uh, into the house and it goes to the rest of the house and then our drinking water spigot upstairs actually has a half micron filter with a carbon block uh, added to it uh, for taste and generally to keep some of the pathogens out uh, that might be from the from the roof We'll put uh, half to three quarters of a cup of bleach in each tank, usually once a month, and that kind of controls and keeps everything nice and clean. The last water test we had showed the water to be really, really good, and it tastes pretty good too. So we'll go outside and I'll show you how we capture the water. So our main roof, it's a really big, good, big size roof. It's uh, about 1800, uh, 1,800 square feet for the main roof. And then we got another 600 square foot on the porch. So we're capturing we have about 2,400 square feet to capture water, but the gutters drain to either end and then feed down. And what I was using uh, for a while, uh, well, on one side anyway, is this uh, this five gallon bucket system where I cut off the end and then put some mesh screen and some stuff in there. And the, the screen material does a really good job of capturing the pine needles and crap from the roof and filtering it out before it goes down into the tank room. But uh, sometimes some debris gets through and it's also a hassle to come in here and clean this crap out all the time. So I remember using, using a, a rain capture device from uh, I think it's Rain Rain Harvest Systems, rainharvest.com. I'm pretty sure. I'll check. But I'm going to show you today. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to change this other one out. And at the far end of the house, we already got one down there. So we'll show you how this whole thing works. So here's the close-up of the, of the system. You know, the gutter empties into this gallon bucket and it looks it does trap most of the debris uh, it does a pretty good job because down here there's a final screen for anything big and it's pretty clear before it comes down into the uh, into this side of the tank room so but I think we can do a better job with the self-cleaning rain harvest systems plus this this looks a little bit nicer than this five gallon bucket but the five gallon bucket worked pretty good for a while and then you see the overflow down there once the overflow comes in Goes down in there, down the hill, to that 10,000 gallons of extra storage down there. In case we ever needed it, pump it back up. Some that's been stored for 10 years. Maybe I'll do a video on a water systems test. Um, get a kit from National Laboratories and test that water and see what that water's like after 10 years. I also have some stored in the garage that's three years old in those uh, 30 gallon blue food grade barrels. Might be nice to do a water test on that too. Some material for an upcoming video. Anyway, let's get to removing this thing.
How's it going over there? Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Let's see, I nipped a thing off one, in one piece. Oh, that's not too bad. There you go. Uh, that's not too bad. Where's gross. that off? We can clean this off and make it work, though. Should be pretty straightforward. Done and done. There you so, go. You still videoing? Yep. So we got that, there's that screen in there. Oh, it's stuff. Oh, that's disgusting. Kind of disgusting, isn't it? We won't have to clean it out anymore once we put the new system on. Right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, let's go on to the next part. All right. All right, so we've got the cut, piece cut, I think, to the right, right dimensions. Now we're gonna, gonna bevel the outside. Get some sandpaper out. We're gonna rough it all up. Prime it up. Test fit it, and we'll see how it works. Okay, cut. Okay, I'm gonna prime it up. stuff here but we're gonna get it ready to go I'm trying to make it in yeah. detail all the stuff we're gonna do with it it smells like grape it smells like grape yes I don't know if it smells like grape or not the orange or grape? I can't tell. Who knows? Right? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do this one. What you what you're coming in for the close up? Is that what you're doing? Yes. <clears throat> All right. This one. Okay, that one's on. Now we just gotta make sure that when we do this last piece, it's exactly aligned. Aligned. So I think what we'll do is we'll put it in like this, mm -hmm. and then we'll rotate it down to position. Right? Yep. Here we go. This no most critical piece right here. There we go. This is the piece that makes it matter. That makes it matter. Yeah, it does. Ready? 
right. Here we go. Ready? about as straight as we're going to get it before it sets up. Let's take a look. Pretty straight. So, we'll let this set up for a few minutes, and then we'll go install it. What do you think? Yes. Alright, go ahead, Shiloh. Going. That's kind of messy, huh? Mm-hmm. It's a primer. Now this is the glue that's going on, that's going on now. Mm-hmm. Oh, Alright, are we ready to set this in there? Mm-hmm. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it works. Hope so. Here we go. Moment of truth. Shall we do it? Yes, we shall. Alright, here we go. Think of it? It will. Okay. Is it vertical? Wish I could tell from here. Looks looks like it is. There you go. Alright, so I think we got it in. Yep. Where we needed to get it in. Well there's that done. I think that's the end of our 20 minute video of scuff. Think so? Yes. Bye bye. We did it! We're not dead! Yay! We did it! Okay, got it all in. Got the extension on the drain pipe. Ready to, ready to filter that rainwater into the tanks. And that's a win. Thanks for watching.